in a mild spectroscopy in general, actually, I think what you need is a very big magnet. We have multiple big magnets. On an international scale, it's actually a very large facility. To have a system like the 800 megahertz spectrometer is actually quite an advantage actually to be able to use that. The unique feature we have with NMR spectroscopy is that we look at proteins in solution. This helps us to understand, for example, conformational properties of a system and the effect of an environment. One of the key projects we have at the moment are intrinsically disordered systems where you have no regular structure and NMR can tell us about the conformational space available to a system, the dynamic properties, the specific features of certain regions in a protein. What NMR is really good at, at telling you is, like I said before, the dynamic properties of your system or where you might want to study the interaction between two proteins. I would not call myself an NMR geek at all. I definitely describe myself as a applications NMR person. If you tell me your biological question, then I can find something to, to help you get the answer. For example, in a, in a project that was recently published last year, we were looking at how an a inhibitor interacted with the Megadalton complex mTOR C1. So there we were able to show the interface of the inhibitor. So that was then used to dock into some cryorem density. When we place molecules inside a very powerful magnetic field, extremely high magnetic field, then the nuclei of the atoms spin and in doing so they give us a great deal of information about the shape of the molecule, the interactions that the molecules are making with other molecules and this can be applied to determining the chemical structure, composition of molecules but also the three-dimensional shape of biologically important molecules that are relevant to the pharmaceutical industry. It's the shape, but not only the shape of the molecule that is responsible for its biological activity, but it's also the way in which the protein moves. If you think about walking along a beach and picking up a pebble and you, you, you turn it over in your hand and you can feel the texture, you can feel the hardness of it, you get a feel for the pebble. All of that information is contained in the NMR data and some of it is instantly recognisable when you look at that pattern of dots. I have a love-hate relationship with NMR. When I first started as a PhD student, I find this technique extremely difficult. But at the same time, I also realize it's a very powerful technique. You can actually get NMR to work a lot easier if you have a good sample. My role is to help people to get NMR to work in their projects. We start from sample preparation, uh, experimental design, and also help our users with data collection and analysis. We are recently working on how to, uh, to study the conversion mechanism of a protein. Because NMR is a solution technique, you can actually use NMR to almost look at a protein in real time. And really the excitement for us is to look at this protein on the magnet and see it going from one state to another and then really trying to understand how this conversion happens. I think the most satisfying part of this job is if you find out a piece of information that wasn't known before, you confirm something that was suspected or you get an answer that was completely unexpected but you were there and you helped and, and got that data. I loved the mystery of putting a radio frequency signal into a sample and getting a very indirect photon signal out of it. It's a little bit like magic. Just looking at a 2D or NMR spectrum actually can provide you with an incredible insight into a system. In general, I like everything NMR. It might be a bit geeky, but once you know the tracks, you know where, where to look for. What I most like about LNB is probably the, the quality of the science is, is undeniable. The funding model here is absolutely brilliant for facilities like us. And the other bit I really appreciate about the LMB is it has this can-do attitude about the place that I really respect.